test, 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 test.
Good Sunday morning, everyone, and welcome to Game 5 of the Southwest Cup here in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. We have the semi-final matchup this morning between Pittsburgh Hockey Club and Evolve Hockey. So as we know, Pittsburgh Hockey Club uh, is essentially made up of a combination of the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins Elite 2013 birth year teams. The Evolve team uh, to our right is essentially made up of a lot of Roco players from their 2013 birth year team. So these boys will be pretty familiar with each other as uh, this has been a common opponent over the last couple years. Looking out there at the Evolve warmups, it also looks like there's a couple Sabres players out there. Uh, as you can see, their pants with the blue and the yellow stripes. So, looks like uh, largely uh, made up of Roco, uh, supplemented with some Sabres players for Evolve. So, Pittsburgh comes into this game off the strength of a one not I'm sorry, uh, on a two to one overtime win uh, off the stick of Maddox Dawson. Big goal by Maddox with only five seconds to go in a three on three overtime period. And uh, Coulter uh, played a great game in that uh, last matchup, the first elimination game. And again, Maddox able to pot a goal there with uh, the waning seconds of overtime to send Pittsburgh on to the semifinals. So this is, again, a win to stay in the tournament. I would say it's a win or go home, but it's actually not. So in this particular tournament, there's a consolation game or a bronze medal game, if you will. So uh, if Pittsburgh should go on to win this game, uh, they'll play again at 1 o'clock in the championship game against either the Canes or the Stars, who we have already played in this tournament. If they should lose this game, uh, they would face the loser of that other game in a bronze medal game at 1 o'clock. So either way, we're going to play six games in Canada this weekend, two games Friday, two games Saturday, and two games here today. So I would expect Michael to get the start in net here today. Uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins Elite uh, 2013 win team uh, played Rocco just one time last year, and I believe Michael had a shutout in that game and played absolutely amazing. So Michael should have some good vibes seeing uh, these boys on the other side. We'll see if he can continue the hot streak against these players. And the horn sounds. Uh, Pittsburgh Hockey Club will gather, and we'll get ready to drop the puck on this game. Uh, a couple shout-outs. So, again, we're without the services of Cam Sanders, who we expected to have here this weekend, but uh, Cam's ill and back at home in Pittsburgh, so we'll again send get well wishes uh, to Cam Sanders' way, and uh, we miss you, buddy. I hope you get feeling better here soon. And also shout out to Mr. Chen Lee, who's going to do the camera work for us today. So uh, Kyle is still dealing with the situation here up in, uh, up in Canada. He'll be back for the afternoon game, uh, but had to make a quick jaunt down to Toronto this morning to pick something up and so we have Mr. Lee doing the camera work for us and also lending us his tripod so thanks for him to stepping in and helping out with the camera. We'll see how Coach Mike elects to deploy the lines today. Uh, there's a bit of a shakeup yesterday uh, as Gabriel moved to, to center between Weston and, and Kislak. Um, so we'll see if that continues into the game here this morning. For this tournament, uh, the players exchange pleasantries before the game as opposed to after. This has been standard for all the games. So uh, we'll do the fist bump line in advance of the game and the teams will go take their benches and we'll get things underway. Pittsburgh will be skating left to right in their gray jerseys. And we'll see if it is indeed Roland that takes that net to our left. So it is indeed Mr. Michael Rowland, Big Mike takes the net to our left. And that uh, line shakeup did not stay as we got Nemet at center with Lee on the right and Kislak on the left. So Coach Mike shaking up the lines again. And to start, we'll also have Ward and Decker on D. 
Noah had the primary assist on that overtime goal to Dawson yesterday for the game winner. Referee checks the net down to our right. Everything seems satisfactory there. And we will drop the puck. Semi-final game, Southwestern Cup. Here we go. Rocco wins it forward, but that's able to be stripped away by Lee. Lee takes it through neutral, tries to get it deep, can't. And Rocco looks to go out the other way, and Decker's going to be first back to grab it. Noah takes it behind. Nope, he's not going to take it behind. He's going to swoop out and try to leave it for Kislak. Kislak chips it for Nemet. Here comes Nemet and Lee on potentially a two-on-one. Nemet has it sticked away from him and pass Kislak at the blue line back for Noah. Noah puts it back in, delayed offsides. Pittsburgh tags up. Here comes Nemet down Main Street. Jack's on his forehand, back in. Oh boy, I'm not sure how that didn't go in. So stop there. It looked like Jax uh, had an open cage there as he deked out that goalie. I saw a lot of room to the goaltender's left, but the puck didn't go in. I'm not sure if it just rolled off of Jax's stick there at the last minute, but nice move by Nemet and smart play by Pittsburgh to tag up there on the delayed offsides. Great chance, only 30 seconds in to this first period, but puck stays out and we stay scoreless. All new troops out for Pittsburgh as Rocco looks to come break out down the far wall. Pester there by Briner on the back check. Nice job by Weston. Sticking with that player and the puck goes below the end line. Behind Michael's crease it goes. And Evolve spin with it and put it back to the point. Low to high play. Player walks in, shoots. That's deflected and goes wide to rolling. Uh, we've seen a lot of offense generated in this tournament uh, on that low to high play and shots from the point with traffic. Uh, the North Stars were particularly good at uh, driving offense through that in this tournament. So We'll look for that as uh, Evolve players tied up there and Pittsburgh has good numbers. Here comes Valentine with a head of steam. Dante skates it into the right corner. Has Maddox going towards the cage. Ooh, he's hauled down. Oh boy, that looked like a hooking penalty to me uh, as Dante took a stick right into the stomach and fell down, but no penalty forthcoming as Decker gets it on net, deflected. Uh, wide in the net, uh, Maddox on his backhand tries to get it back towards the cage, does. Pinballs around, goaltender finds it and melts it down, but another couple good chances there for the Pittsburgh side as they are off to a strong start here in this first period, having the better of the chances. Nemet goes in to take the draw. Again with Lee on the right and Kislak on the left. Nemet wins it over for Lee. Lee puts it back for Ward. Ward spins it in on Net. Uh, Netminder kicks that out. Kislak's first on it there. He spins in the corner, puts it back to the point. And that's Noah. Noah puts it back for Bennett. Bennett uh, tries to shovel it to the net, but that's off an involved stick, but it comes back to Kislak. Kislak takes it into the far corner. He slips down, but plays it forward for uh, Nemet. And Kislak on the puck again. Now on the, these boards. Uh, it sports past uh, Ward at the point and back for Decker. Decker goes over for his defense partner and up for Lee. Lee has Nemet going through the center of the ice. Puck's deflected though. Pittsburgh changing behind the play and Evolve coming three strong. They are happy to dump it in and Ward goes back to try to play the puck and Lee swoops in to help. And the puck's in the left corner where it's tough to see, but Evolve emerged with it and the puck goes all the way back to the right point. Shot, the save by Michael Rowland there. Nice hard low shot by that point man from Evolve looking for a tip or a rebound, but Michael's pad got on that. Now Lee takes it the other way, finds a friendly stick. That's Nemet in the far corner. He falls down on the puck and loses that puck. And Evolve come on the counter attack, two on three. Puck comes back to Dante. Dante slaps it back into the Evolve end. And Nechai is gonna be first on it. Nechai and Briner on the floor check here. And Maddox now steps in right in front of the Evolve bench, pumps it back down. And Evolve's gonna have to go back and collect one more time behind their netminder. They're gonna look to go up the near boards this time. And through the center, step up there by Jojo. And now Gav spins with it. Gav into the top of the circles. Stick that, stick check. And separated him from the puck. And three on two developing here for Evolve with Pittsburgh back checking. Evolve takes it to the high. Uh, that one goes high and wide of the net. Michael not forced to make a save there. As Pittsburgh reverses play and goes to that right point where Evolve pumps it back down the boards. Good action here in this first period. Uh, not a whole lot of stoppages, good play. Uh, a couple of good chances both sides. Well played game thus far, which has been the MO for this entire weekend. Uh, good hockey here at this tournament this weekend. It's been a very enjoyable tournament experience and, and very good games. And Gav skates it forward. Gav's gonna try to get it deep here and get a change, I believe, but it's sticked away from him. Pittsburgh is changing behind the play. 
Gav's going to head and go ahead and go to the bench now. Nemeth's still out there. He's been out there quite a while. Uh, that hits a bunch of players in front of the Evolve bench. Now Gav's going to go for that change, and Kislak's going to come out for net shot. And Jax and Lee are in on the floor check. Gabe separates that player from the puck. Gabe spins with it. High circle, shoots. Go, Gabriel Lee! Gabe, pick that top corner. That's a goal for number 55, Mr. Gabriel Lee. As Pittsburgh goes up one to nothing here in the first. Gabe had quite a gallop in his step yesterday, uh, especially in that second game. Uh, didn't Was unable to get on the scoreboard, but he uh, definitely had a strong effort. So good to see him get rewarded here this morning, and hopefully he can keep the strong play going. But big first goal there by number 55. As Pittsburgh looks to come through neutral again, Kislak on the puck, gets center red. He's stick lifted from behind though, and Evolve looks to take it the other way. Uh, that's poked away by Decker though. And Decker is gonna spin with it and give it back for Bennett. Bennett ties up uh, Evolve player on the boards, but Evolve spins with it, leaves it for a teammate, and plays it back to that center point. Pittsburgh races out there. That's gloved out of the air by Nemet, and now it's a three on two the other way. Nemet has Lee. The goal scorer Lee goes down the right side. He gives it back to Nemet. Kislak going to the left side. That's put out the other side for Bennett. Oh, he just couldn't grab that, corral that puck as it came off the boards. Ward steps up on that play and breaks up the pass through neutral. Now Kislak swipes at it at the red line. Bennett grabs the puck momentarily, but Evolve moved forward and hit Noah with that puck. Noah has some time to collect. I'm not sure if this is delayed offside or not. It is not, and the puck goes forward for Lee. Lee is able to chip it out, and here comes Nemet with a head of steam. He's got Briner on his left. Nemet's going to go ahead and get that puck deep and go for a change. Down to six minutes and 20 seconds to go in a very fast-moving first period. Also cleanly played. No penalties called here thus far in this game. As Evolve look to bring it through neutral. Three on two developing here. JoJo and Dante back. That one goes high and wide. Michael threw his blocker up in the air, but again, don't think he had to make a save here as the puck shot all the way down the ice. That's going to have enough on it for icing. We'll get a chance to take a breather here with just over six minutes to go in the first period. We'll bring the faceoff all the way back to Roland's right. Number 19 for Evolve, who's a tall drink of water. Leans in to take the draw against Dawson. Evolve's able to control off the faceoff, spin it through the blue paint, but harmlessly into the corner. And they go to collect and take it behind Roland. Maybe looking for that low to high play again. They do hit center point and shoot it in. That's gloved out of the air again. Pittsburgh showing some baseball skills. First it was Nemet uh, gloving that puck out of the air. Now Dante, but be careful here. There's a turnover. Oh, nice sliding play by Dante to break up that cross crease pass. Uh, as Dante was able to pick it out of midair, but then there was a turnover. Sliding play by Valentine was able to prevent that cross crease pass. Great defensive play there by number 14. Uh, Hounded from behind is an evolved player by Nechai, and Pittsburgh looks to get it up for Nechai now as Evolve have some time and space and put it back for Dante. Dante really moving through neutral here, but he stood up at the blue line. Evolve player loses their stick. Nechai on, in on the puck. Uh, Gav goes down the right boards. Gabe comes over to help. Has Nemet out there with him as well. Nemet's going to go ahead and apply the pressure, but Evolve skate around and get it back into the Pittsburgh zone. Nice pass there. Ward goes into the corner with that player, number 58 for the Pittsburgh Hockey Club. And Pittsburgh controls on the half wall, try to play it towards the middle, but that goes past Lee's stick, but fumbled on that D to D pass, and Lee's going to be in on the four check. Uh, he causes a bit of a turnover there, and Lee and Kislak go to work in the corner. Evolve plays it up to the half boards, but it's stepped into there by Bennett. Puck uh, finds Lee. Lee tries to drag it through, goes through Kislak's skates. Be careful here, two on two developing. Here come Evolve, testing Ward. Player able to take Jax wide and shoot. That goes over the net. Uh, player had some net to shoot out there, but fortunately for Pittsburgh, on the backhand shot, that went over Michael's head, but a good chance there for Evolve to draw e equal in this game. Puck goes forward for Lee. Lee plays it into space. Nemet's going to try to race into it. Kislak change behind the play. Briner comes out. He's tripped down. No penalty coming there. Puck goes back into the Pittsburgh zone. Dante back to collect there. Down to four minutes to go in a fast-moving first period. Dante plays it up the boards all the way through. Back to center red, Evolve's going to collect, go D to D, and now look to come up the near side here. And they put it behind Roland, and it goes out the other side, backhanded again. Dante tries to grab that one out of midair. That one, he didn't flag down though with that left hand, and the puck goes into the referee skates, but it's picked up by Dawson. 
Dawson has a head of steam here. He also has Gav going down these boards. Gav's unable to take that pass cleanly. Tries to pressure the evolved player there, but a uh, failed breakout attempt there by Pittsburgh uh, as they had some numbers, but just couldn't connect on that uh, rink-wide pass. Goes back behind Roland again. And some time and space opens up for Pittsburgh. Dante looks for that stretch pass to Briner. That's past his stick. That's going to be enough on it for icing, and we're going to bring the face off all the way back to the Pittsburgh Hockey Club zone. Just over three minutes to go here in the first. <whistles> Nemet to take the draw. Jax tries to slap that straight forward, uh, is able to control, and comes out of the zone. Uh, so Evolve has to tag up here. Again, we are playing delayed offsides. So Evolve all go tag up at the blue line and now can come back in on the four check and we'll keep the play moving. Uh, stretch pass looking for Lee goes wide and back into the Pittsburgh end where Nemec grabs it. Jax looks like he has the motor going here. Jax comes through neutral, gives it over for Kislak. Kislak to the top of the circle, spins with it, tries to get it down for Lee, finds Gabe. And Gabe circles with it and tries to get it back to net, finds Jax. Jax has Bennett in front, shot, where's the puck? It's in the goalie's equipment, but nice little play there uh, by that line. A little cycle play down low, but the evolved netminder was up to the task and keeps the puck out, but again, nice little play there. Nemec, Lee, and Kislak will stay out there for the forward group, right in on net. Goaltender melts that down and we'll drop the puck again. Lee to take the draw again. Uh, that one's won into the corner by Evolve, and they look to relieve the pressure out of their zone. Lee falls down, Kislak uh, in on the four check, and Evolve looks for that stretch pass, it misses, hits Ward, and back to Nemet. Pittsburgh again on side, that's uh, stick checked away from Nemet, and back to Lee, Lee fans on the pass, and it comes to Ward. Ward finds Nemet, and Jax takes it over the blue line, and finds Lee going down the slot. It pops up on him, and Evolve looked to come on the counter attack. Pittsburgh changing at the door there. Briner comes out and Evolve stay on side. Try to drag it right down Main Street. It's in the skates. Uh, Ward tries to play it away and Michael said, I've seen enough of this. He dives out from his crease, puts his paw on that biscuit, melts it down and gets a face off to his left. So Pittsburgh will go ahead and get the remainder of that change. As Dawson, Nechai and I believe Briner are out there now. Yes, Weston pressures at the point. Goes back down towards the end line, down to under two minutes to go in the first period. Goes back to that evolved point. They pump it through. It's blocked down by Dante, but the rebound's loose there. Still loose, puck still loose, puck still loose. Shot, that hits something in front as Michael was looking through the, looking for that puck in a sea of bodies. No penalty coming there as evolved players pull down into the boards. Evolve shoots, that's up on Michael. He stays on his feet to make that save and pounces on the rebound. Couple big saves there by Roland to keep this a one nothing game for Pittsburgh. Maddox in to take the draw. Wins that one over for Jojo, who gets it to the point, but not out. Good four check, or good uh, way to close out on that point player there by Briner and take away time and space. Gav's trying to find it in his skates, can't. Evolve looks to flip it the other way. Here comes 97 and 94 into the Evolve end, but Puck just slips past Gav's stick and Evolve looked the counter. Nice step up there by Dante with a stick check right in front of us. Number 61 for Evolve takes it down the left side, but Maddox puts him into the boards. That's gonna be enough to draw a penalty as nine, number 94, Maddox Dawson, is gonna go to the box here with a minute and seven seconds to go in the first period. We'll have our first power play of the game and it will belong to Evolve. So if you haven't joined us for games earlier in this tournament, uh, penalties are a full two minutes. So Maddox will serve a two minute minor penalty and you're also allowed to ice the puck on the kill without an icing infraction. So Pittsburgh can put this all the way down the ice without icing. So essentially NHL rules uh, is, is how the penalties work here. As Pittsburgh will try to get this clear and finish out this first period, hopefully with a lead. Evolve put it down towards Michael, but that's scooped up by Ward. Ward plays it forward, and Pittsburgh is able to get that clear through neutral, but Gabe overskates it, 
and is unable to get it all the way deep as we're down to under 45 seconds to go in the first period. Player comes right down Main Street here. Uh, Nemeth does a good job to ultimately separate that player from the puck as it goes towards the point. Gabe gives chase there, but evolve play around him. Now Gabe has some time to get it clear. Gabe gets it, but not deep, just over the center red. And evolve look to recollect and come back forward. They elect to go back to the D man and set things up. Down to 20 seconds to go in a first period, which sees Pittsburgh on the penalty kill right now. Evolve taken into the right circles. Dangle, that's sticked away by Ward. Lee stick lifts the player. And the coaches from Evolve are yelling for their players to get the puck to the point. But uh, this player from Evolve is going to go for an around the world skate as we're down to four seconds. It does come to the center point, And the Evolve coaches are frustrated with that player. Um, they were yelling at number 19 to move that puck to the point and get a shot off in the waning seconds of that first period. Uh, ultimately, they don't get a chance and we'll have 53 seconds of carryover power play time to begin the third or the second. You're a pro. All right, Michael will take the net to our right and we'll get ready to play the second period. Pittsburgh finds themselves up one as we begin the second period, but on the penalty kill, 53 more seconds remain on the penalty to Dawson. As Briner tries to tie up Evolve off the faceoff, they're able to kick it into the Pittsburgh zone now to our right and spin up and try to get it in front, but a nice play there by JoJo to read that play. Get his head up and clear that puck all the way down. Nice play by Ciccarelli there on the penalty kill. Down to 30 ticks on that power play for Evolve. This player is going to get wind it up and get the wheels moving. But he slams it off the boards all the way back to JoJo. JoJo says, thank you very much. I'll clear that right back into your zone. And Nechai steps up on a player there. And that player tumbles down. No penalty coming on Gav. As Evolve takes it down into the right circles. Move it over to the left point. And Gav closes out and gets a block, but it goes D to D. And now wide a roll in through a sea of legs. Doesn't deflect off anything. Pittsburgh might have a chance here with um, Dawson coming out of the box. Here comes Maddox out of the box, and JoJo has the puck. He's going to clear it all the way down. That's going to be icing. No icing. I don't know why that was waved off. No icing on the play, and Maddox is in on the puck as he is released from the penalty box. So we're back to skating five on five. Maddox plays it up for Gav. Gav tries to get a shot on net but it comes over to Lee. Lee, uh, the goal scorer in this game, pumps that one back towards the evolved netminder. Netminder is able to catch that one in the trapper and melt it down, and we get our first stoppage in play in the second period, 10.46 to go. Pittsburgh able to get that first penalty kill of the day as uh, Nemet is going to take this face off with Kislak on his left and Briner on his right. Nope, that's Lee, sorry. Uh, so Gabe on that right wing, and Kislak races back. Nice job by Bennett to separate that player from the puck. And spin with it. Now Jack's Ward on it. He plays it forward for Nemet. Nemet, nice cross rink pass for Lee. Lee picks it up on his backhand right in front of me here. And Gabe dangles in a phone booth. And Jax comes over to help, and it comes to Bennett. Kislak drags in in front for Lee. And sticked away from those two. And Evolve looked for that stretch pass, but it's flagged out of midair by Nemet. Nemet takes it into the circles, has Lee in front, comes back to Decker. Necker, Decker tries to get it over for Lee, but can't connect on that pass. A fresh Briner on the ice on the back check, but it's played past him and into some skates. Now Nemet has it on the counterattack. Three on two developing here for Pittsburgh. Nemet and Lee with Jax as a trailer. Nemet shoots it high. That's gloved out of the air easily by the evolved netminder. They hold on to that puck and get a face off. Pittsburgh will use that opportunity to change some troops and go with Dawson, Nechai. 
Briner, Valentine, and Ciccarelli. Maddox wins that face off over for Gav. And poked back to Maddox on the wall. And Weston comes in to help. Now here comes Maddox. Maddox looks back door for Gav, but that's sticked away. As the scoring chances have kind of dried up here for Pittsburgh over the last several minutes. Gav goes back to the point, but had a little bit too much pace on that. Dante had to retreat to take it. And now sticks with that puck, puts it back in Gav skates, and Maddox follows on. Maddox chips it back into the evolved zone and goes to work. Past the outstretched stretched stick of Briner and Evolve go back to their own zone. D to D, look for that cross ice pass. Briner gets a stick on it. Ciccarelli gets a stick on it, but Evolve maintain possession. Shoot it from distance. Michael uses his right pad to kick that one into the corner. And now Evolve go back to the point. Point to point and shot in. That's deflected wide by Dante. Dante with several good blocks in this game so far. Getting his body in front of the puck is Valentine. And a couple times trying to just reach it out of the air with his hand. Battled for on the near boards. Evolve maintained possession though. Put it into the high slot, but that's read by Gav. Ultimately comes through and a shot goes on. I think that one hit off the side of the cage. Now Maddox is gonna rumble through center. Here comes number 94. He's one on two, one on three, one on four. And can't get through all those players as Pittsburgh's changing behind the play. And JoJo stays out there, gets nice stick on puck. Evolve player falls down. JoJo into the Evolve zone, gets it deep and retreats back to his point position. Evolve slap it back up to that point spot for JoJo, but uh, an Evolve player got in the way there. They're able to play it deep. I'm not sure that he got center red. They are gonna say he got center red. No icing on that play. And Pittsburgh looked to come out on the counter. Play forward for Bennett. Bennett falls down over the blue line. And uh, Nemet follows up. Nemet and Bennett coming in. Here comes Nemet, stick handles around of several. On his backhand, shoots. Goaltender fights that one off. Uh, nice speedy rush down the left side by Nemet. Uh, he was on his backhand on that side. Did shuffle it towards the net. Netminder got his right pad on that and was able to melt it down. Same troops will stay out there for Pittsburgh. Nemet to take the draw. Lee towards the center of the ice and Kislak on that left wing. Decker and Jax Ward on deep. Nemet uh, wins it over the boards for Bennett. And Bennett falls down and Evolve take the puck right in front of their own cage. Dangerous play there, but it goes through Ward and now Decker's in a foot race back. Nice play by Noah to win that foot race and play it over to the boards. Uh, still uh, Evolve have an opportunity here with two players going towards the net. Wraparound attempt, that hits off some iron and pops out to Kislak. Bennett's got the motor going, but he forgot one thing, the puck. He recollects and puts it wide looking for Lee. And Evolve's gonna elect to take it behind their own netminder. Kislak applies the forecheck and Evolve look to break out. Swipe, swipe that there by Nemet, back for Bennett. And here comes Gabe Lee into the circles. He shoots, oh, nice tricky shot there by Gabe as uh, Nemet was able to put it down for Bennett. Bennett was able to find Lee uh, streaking through and Gabe had another nice shot on net there, but goaltender was up to the task. Dante, good keep uh, at the top of the point. And now Weston, goes to work below the end line. Weston protecting that puck nicely, plays it back for Ward. Ward uh, loses time and space quickly here, but Dante's over to help out and put the puck back in. Pittsburgh tags back up and can now go back in on the four check. Uh, somebody's got to stay high here, boys. we got three four checkers in on Evolve, but that works out as Gav tries to bring the puck towards the center of the slot. Puck goes back into the corner for Gav. Gav on his backhand surveys, leaves it for Dawson. Maddox stops up with it, looking for a friendly stick, tries to find out for Gav, but Gav was flat-footed there and Evolve's able to come the other way. Two on two with Gav as a back checker. Uh, past Dante, Evolve goes, be careful here, all the way in on net, Michael forced to make a good save. Pittsburgh able to collect the rebound and get it wide. Maddox chips it off the boards, looking for Gav. And Gav follows through, has Briner on the left side if they can find him, stay on side Weston, Weston does. And the puck comes over to Briner, Briner shoots. That was high and pulled out of the air by the left hand of that evolved netminder. Uh, good chance there for Briner from the top of the left circle, but couldn't beat the glove of that evolved netminder. And we stay at a one nothing game here in the second period, just under six minutes to go. One over for Kislak. Bennett puts it back for Jojo. Jojo pumps it back down where the Penguins can go to work below the end line. Two Pittsburgh players down there. That's Nemet and a teammate doing some work. And they cause a turnover. That was Nemet and Lee. Lee has a position right in front. Nemet has the puck stripped off of him and Evolve looked to take it up the far wing. 
Uh, that stick that there by Nemet and Bennett. And now we've all come forward though on a three on two with the back checker, but nice stick check there by Valentine. Dante having a strong game from his defensive position. Many nice shot blocks and stick checks here as the puck goes through the center of the ice for Nemet. Nemet finds Lee. Lee into the zone, stops up, brings it to his forehand, shoots right into that glove of the evolved netminder again. That uh, trapper has been busy for that goaltender in blue, but uh, strong glove hand on this netminder. Maybe Pittsburgh needs to start shooting low, looking for some rebounds, maybe try blocker side because the glove side doesn't seem to be working. Maddox to take the draw. Maddox wins it forward for Weston. Weston tied up off that faceoff. Oh, comes right through all the way to Ward. Ward has some time. He pumps it back in, deflects. Oh, in on net. Netminder had to make a save. That deflected off a couple things. By the time it made it to the net, it didn't have much pace on it, but it was on net. I think Maddox was the last one to get a stick on it, but uh, Netminder was able to find it after all those deflections and keep the puck out. Evolve, go around, rimming around the boards on the yellow, and now reverse. And go the other direction, looking to come up the near board. Stepped into there by Decker. Decker has the puck in his feet, finds it on his backhand, makes a nice pass over for Briner. Briner stick checked away by a very long reach of a stick of that evolved defenseman and comes back for Decker. Decker's going to lead the rush this time. Decker into the left circle. And Weston does a good job to cover up for Decker at the point. It's played for Weston, but wide. And now Jax Ward is back all by himself. Pittsburgh still tagging up. Noah realizes that, waits for everybody to tag up and dump it back in. Smart play there by Decker. Maddox goes into the corner one on three, loses that uh, odd number battle. And nice stick check there by Lee. And played off the glass, back for Decker. In his skates again, he tries to bang it off the wall to himself. But uh, Evolve is able to follow up on it and put it through the high slot, but misses that stick. And Jax Ward uh, thwarts that attempt on the, in the right circles. Down to under four minutes to go in a fast-moving second period, fast-moving game. Only one penalty in this game um, to Maddox Dawson. So not a whole lot of penalties. Oh, nice play there as Evolve was able to get it in on Michael. Michael was able to get his pad on that and kick it past that first wave of players who were there waiting for that rebound as the puck goes back down low. And here comes Nemet. Nemet, Lee, and Kislak on the rush. Nemet tries to get it deep. Gabe follows on. Where's the puck? Uh, it's on an Evolve stick, and they look to counterattack two on two. Ward back, along with Decker. And they take it around and find a player in front, but that just goes wide. Pittsburgh fortunate there. Oh, now Michael with the poke check, and it's put back in on Michael. So there was another cross crease pass attempted there. Michael was able to lunge out and get his stick on that. Uh, but then that puck went out to an evolved player who got another shot in and Michael had to be sharp to make that save. Roland holding the fort here in the second period, keeping the Penguins up, I'm sorry, Pittsburgh up by one. Dawson comes in to take the defensive zone draw. Uh, battled for right at the dot. Goes forward to Weston. Weston, nice pass over for Gav. Gav tries to part the seas, but strong back check by number 66 for Evolve. Takes that puck, goes to their D-man, and now look to come out the wing. That's going to be icing. <clears throat> so looking to hit that rink-wide stretch pass was Evolve, but didn't find a stick and went all the way back into the Pittsburgh zone. Had enough on it for icing. So I don't think the clock ran there. I think there was 3.05 to go when we dropped the puck last time, and I looked to my right, it still says 3.05. I don't think any time ticked off of the clock there. Uh, so a little bit of extra hockey. The clock is running now, and puck goes over for Gav. Gav puts it in on net and finds that glove of the Evolve netminder for what feels like the 20th time in this game. Evolve's gonna use that opportunity to change forward units. <clears throat> Pittsburgh has an offensive zone draw. Dawson, again, will be the person to take it. Gav tries to step, swoop in, and pick up that puck off the draw. Goes behind the Evolve cage. Briner on his horse, giving chase into the corner. And Evolve looked to reverse and go out the other way. That hits a skate right in front of Dawson and pops back for the... Oh, boy, be careful there. That was shot with a whole lot of pace right into the Pittsburgh bench. And uh, that one had Coach Mike and Coach Keith ducking out of the way. But everybody still seems to have all of their 
dental work intact over there. They're giggling about it now. And we'll redrop the puck inside of the glass. Evolve, look to go forward. That's red by Maddox. And Pittsburgh able to pump it back in, but not deep. And Maddox is applying the pressure right at the blue line. Evolve's gonna go D to D. They have a winger open on this side. They look for that winger swooping back. And they're gonna go back and wind it up and put it to the left side of the ice. And onside play at the Pittsburgh blue line. Evolve comes down that left wing and take it behind Michael and converged on there. Nice play by Ward, I believe, or not Ward, um, Nemet. Nope, that's Weston. Weston's flying. Weston chips it around and goes in on the four check. Gav's gonna beat him to that puck though and leave it over for Maddox. Nice rush there by Briner as he was moving as he went right in front of me here. But Evolve's able to get that back out to neutral under two minutes to go in the second period. Onside play again at the P Pittsburgh blue line. That's shot high and wide of Michael. Evolve's gonna be first on that puck as Pittsburgh was changing behind the play. But nice stick check there by Nemet is able to force the puck off of the Evolve stick. Evolve's gonna change behind the play now and they're gonna take the opportunity to go all the way back and reset. And Kislak in on the four check says, you wanna bring it all the way back here? I'll pressure you. And Evolve do bring it through the center of the ice onside. And they take it on an inside out move and shoot it. Uh, by the time the player shot it, they were at a real bad angle and hit the top of the pipe. Now Kislak comes forward with some speed. He has Lee in front, finds Lee. Nice pass by Bennett over for Lee. Lee in the slot, shoot, score! Nice pass by Kislak to find the streaking Lee. And Gabe's able to pot his second goal of the game, putting Pittsburgh up by two. Down to just over a minute to go in the second period. Pittsburgh wins that faceoff back to the defenseman. They go D to D and look to go into the evolved zone. Uh, Pittsburgh changing. Uh, they're going to get that delayed offside call. So Pittsburgh touches back up now, and the puck goes back for Kislak. Kislak on his backhand uh, puts it up high, but that hits a, a evolved player in the head. But Maddox is able to follow on. Maddox brings it down the left side. He has uh, Decker with him. Decker dusts it off, shoots. That goes behind and out the other side for, uh, I believe that's a fresh Nechai on the ice. Nechai finds Dawson in front, but uh, Maddox couldn't get a whole lot of wood on that stick. Weston flags it out of midair. Weston has a good baseball background. Uh, that one was a nice bunt single. Oh, Gav hauled down on the play. No penalty coming there. That was a clean penalty as a, as a free arm came out and hauled Gav down there. But no penalty forthcoming. Again, we've only had one penalty in the entirety of this game. Gav dusts himself off and looks to come back through neutral. Down to just five seconds to go in the second period. Gav's going to get that puck deep to Briner. Oh, we're going to get an offside call, but the horn sounds, so that's going to do it for the second period. And Pittsburgh will go into the third, up by two. Twelve minutes will go on the board. Scoreboard reads two for the good guys, zero for Evolve. And the troops to start this third period are going to be Nemet, Valentine at forward, and Lee. 
And here comes Gabe skates forward with some momentum. Gabe takes it into the corner. Uh, Dante's back on D. That was the Coach Mike faceoff play they were trying to run there at the beginning of the third period. So shout out to Coach Mike. Uh, he told me yesterday he'd run that one for me this weekend. And uh, there it was. It wasn't effective, though. But uh, we will play on, and Pittsburgh will look. Oh, there's an Evolve player shaking up behind the play. He dusts himself off, though, and Evolve look to get it over center red. They do find two friendly sticks, and a two-on-two -two develops. As Evolve comes into the Pittsburgh zone, shot from distance, blocked down by Ciccarelli. JoJo puts it further up the boards. Past the stick of Weston, but it, Pittsburgh is able to get a clear there as Evolve look to play it up to the near boards now. That's fumbled at the blue line on side play. And Lee pressures there, goes into the corner, trying to find the puck down there. And that go, now goes behind the cage, and Evolve worked that low to high play. Weston gets a stick on there, but not enough, and races out to the boards. That's sticked away in front by, I believe that was Dante again. One-handed forward for Maddox by uh, Nechai. And Evolve, chip it back to Dante. Dante has some time. Has Gav open it up? Dante plays the angle pass for Gav. Uh, and then Weston scoops in. And Mr. Dawson's on the puck there, but he's separated. And it goes back to the point. Nope, it doesn't go back to the point. It's still back in that right circle and goes behind the evolved netminder. Evolve looked to break it out that right side. Good forecheck there. Work by Briner. Finds Dawson. Dawson unable to grab the handle on that, though. And it goes back up to the point. That's going to be Decker. Decker, low, hard shot. The flex off an evolve stick, and they're going to look to skate it out. They play it over center red. Jax Ward racing back with that evolve player. Evolve player drops the shoulder, shoots, stick on puck there. Michael not forced to make a save as one of the defensemen got a stick on there, and the puck popped over Michael's cage. Now here comes Gav down the left side, uh, buying some time for folks to change behind the play. A fresh Nemet is out there now. Oh, be careful here. Stretch pass. Almost a breakaway. It's going to come in. Michael's deciding whether he wants to come out and play or not. He does poke check it away from the player. Michael's ne needs to retreat back to the net there. He does as the puck comes forward for Kislak. Kislak leaves it for Lee again. A nice little chip there from Bennett over for Gabe. That's a common theme in this game. Lee shoots again. Oh, just misses that left post. Uh, Gabe almost had the hat trick there uh, as he fired one to that left post. Kislak puts it back down below the net for Lee. Lee stops up with it, tries the wrap around. No, he doesn't. He tries to go back to the point, but that hits off something. Kislak on his horse on the back check, but Evolve come forward with good speed. Two on two developed. Evolve shoot, and he goes in. Oh, I'm not sure how that one beat Michael as Evolve kind of shot it from a bad angle below the dot. It looked like Michael got a big chunk of it, but it did pop over him and into the cage. So we now have a one goal game here in the third period. So Pittsburgh will use that opportunity to get some new fresh troops on the ice. Maddox, Gav, and Briner will be up front. As the puck goes in front of the Evolve bench. And they play it forward, bat it out of midair, and they're going to try Ward down the left side. Backhanded, ooh, in front. Just missed an Evolve stick. And Michael's able to get a paw on that and melt that puck down. And we're down to eight minutes and 48 seconds to go in the third period. Pittsburgh now up just one. Got to think Evolve's going to throw everything in the kitchen sink at Michael here over these last eight minutes as we are in the semifinal game here. So Pittsburgh's going to have to be strong defensively and Roland's going to have to keep the fort here in net. Maddox loses that face off. Evolve try to skate it right down Main Street. It comes to Gav. Gav chips it up for Briner, but he can't find it cleanly. And Evolve pump that back in, delayed offside. Evolve have to tag up. They still haven't tagged up, so Pittsburgh has the opportunity to get a clean breakout. And But they don't. It's stick, sticked away from Gav. And, but um, Ward's able to cover up there. Uh, Pittsburgh fumbled away an opportunity there. Evolve was having a hard time tagging up on that delayed offsides. Uh, Gav had some time, but couldn't get the clear. Now the puck comes to Weston. Weston on his backhand looks for Gav. Gav couldn't skate into it, though, and it's put back into the Pittsburgh side of the ice. We can really use some action down to our right as opposed to our left here as we're up one goal here in the third. Pittsburgh still unable to get it out. Now they do. Here comes Maddox. Maddox chips it around one, tries to go in after it, and Evolve's able to swoop in. Gav takes it on the boards, takes it below the end line. Here's where we like the action. Gav below the end line. 
Uh, pinball's around in front. Maddox is unable to corral it, and it goes into the floor boards where Weston tries to grab it but can't. And Evolve comes forward. Be careful here. Two on one developing. Evolve, bring it in. Get it across the crease. Shot. The player was on his backhand, and that went well high off the glass. But another dangerous chance there as a two on one odd man rush developed for Evolve. Pittsburgh now has some time and space to make a play as Lee lugs the puck. Gabe dangles around the four checker. Here comes Gabe Lee into the right side. Hooked up from behind. Gabe, by the time he shot it, there was stick on puck and unable to get a clean uh, look at the net there. But Gabe was able to buy some time for some fresh troops to get out as the puck goes back to the point for Dante. Dante up high. Uh, gets a taste of his own medicine there as the Evolve player gloves his shot out of midair and now take it back into the Pittsburgh zone. Two on two again. That shot up high over Michael and now goes towards the point. Evolve steps in at the half boards and put it down. Jax looks to go wide for Kislak. Bennett tries to skate into it. He's able to, he pushes it forward. He's hooked up and tries to stay with it. Bennett falls down inside of the Evolve zone and Evolve look to bring it up the near boards. Good action here in this third period. JoJo swipes at it, be careful here. Evolve comes right down Main Street and beats Michael. We have a tie game here in the third period. So as anticipated, expected some pushback here in the third period from the Evolve side of things, and which has come to fruition. And now we have ourselves a new ball game with six and a half minutes to go in the third. Dawson out to take the draw with Gav on his right and Briner on his left. That's one back for Decker. Decker's back to collect. He dusts it off, leaves it over for Gav. Gav gets the wheels moving. Tries to put it in the center for Maddox, but can't. A Weston follows on. It goes past his stick for Decker. Uh, comes back to Gav. Gav shoots from distance. That's over the netminder's outstretched glove and off the glass. As the puck goes back behind that evolved netminder, Maddox in on the four check. They're going to test Gav down this right side. Nope, they're going to flag it all the way through. Jax uh, Ward knocked that puck down, so that's not going to be icing as Noah spins up with it in the near corner. He tries to pull it, play it forward for Gav. Goes past his stick, though. Be careful. Deflect it in. It puck's loose. Jax Ward emerges with it and plays it up for Maddox. Maddox over center red, over the blue. Has, has Netchai going towards the net, but Maddox has stood up. He has Briner in front now. Two Pittsburgh players in front. If Gav can grab the puck and get it there, uh, Gav still working below the end line. I'm sorry, that was Maddox still working below the end line. Comes back to JoJo. JoJo gets it for Maddox. Gav follows on. Shoots. Where's the puck? Way up in the air and over the cage. Everybody was looking around for that as that popped up way into the atmosphere. Now in the referee skates, looking for Gav in front. Goes in on net. Netminder's able to flag that down. Gav is pushed out of that blue paint area. Everybody's going to skate away. Down to 5 minutes and 12 seconds to go in a tied third period. Pittsburgh in familiar territory as they were in a tie game for a lot of their second game yesterday, which ultimately went to overtime. So boys have been in these high pressure situations over this weekend. So hopefully stay calm and make good smart plays out there. Puck goes around, Kislak races for it on the boards. Bennett puts it back down, looking for Nemet, finds Nemet. Nemet tries to put it in front for Lee, who's got both goals here for Pittsburgh. And the puck goes back for Jojo. Jojo spins with it, he looks for Lee. Gabe one more time in the high slot, shoots. That goes wide of the net. And followed up there by Pittsburgh. Kislak puts his butt into a player on the board, tries to spin with it, and emerges with it. And it comes back to Bennett, but it's just knocked off of his stick. Lee overskates it for a second, and Evolve look to play it out the other way. They have one behind the defense, but nice stick on puck there by Bennett. Causes a turnover to, the net, uh, to Nemet. Nemet hauled down on the play, no penalty coming. And Lee applies the four check pressure. Evolve kicks it from their stick or their skate up to their stick and now look to come through neutral with some speed. Dante back on D, bringing it on Michael. Oh, we got a hooking call coming and Pittsburgh's gonna go to the penalty kill for the second time in this game as one of the defensemen uh, hooked up that Evolve player headed towards the net. Uh, that player ended up sliding into Michael. Michael ended up sliding into the cage. The cage went off. And Pittsburgh, unfortunately, is going to go to a penalty kill here with just four minutes and 17 seconds to go. Tie game, third period, semifinal game. Killers for Pittsburgh are going to be Ward, Dawson, Briner, 
and Decker. Maddox loses that face off, clean, back to the point. And it's pumped back down where Noah pressures. Number six for Pittsburgh pressures. They find out front, nice play by Evolve as they were able to work it below the end line. Find the man wide open in front of the cage and pot their third consecutive goal, now going up and leading by a score of three to two. Coach Mike motions to the referee that he's gonna go ahead and use his timeout here and bring the boys together. Pittsburgh will have four minutes and eight seconds to try to draw even here in the third. So Coach Mike is wrapping up his meeting with the players. Uh, we'll take a moment to reflect. So another really nice game here in this tournament, uh, which has been really good competition. So all the games have been close, good games. Uh, so that continues. So no matter which way this game goes, there will be a sixth game of the weekend played at one o'clock, either for the championship or the bronze medal here. But another well-played, good hockey game. Pittsburgh got out to a 2-0 lead on the strength of two goals by Gabriel Lee. And Evolve came roaring back here in the third period with three unanswered goals, the last one on the power play, as now Pittsburgh finds themselves down one, digging deep, trying to get that equalizer. Evolve brings it over the red line and puts it past Decker. And Ward's going to be first in on it. Ward plays it up for Gav. Gav puts it through the center of the ice looking for Briner and followed up on by Maddox. Maddox puts it into the zone and is on his horse here. See if Pittsburgh can't get some action and a cycle play in the evolved end of the ice here. As again, they're down one. Nice stick handling there by this evolved player as he stick handled through two, stick handles through another one and ultimately can't get past Noah Decker, who was that last line of defense, but strong rush there by that evolved player and an individual play. And they look to get it deep. That hits off the stick of Ward. Ward plays it into space, and Gav's gonna try to race over and get there. He does. Gav coming with a head of steam, but that puck hits off an evolved boot, and they're able to swoop and turn and go the other way. Onside play, be careful the back door here. Michael gets a blocker on that, and there was a player looking for that back door, and put back in front of the paint again, and Gav's able to swoop in and pick up that loose change, but can't get it into the zone with any possession as the Evolve coaches are yelling for a change, they do get a change and Nemet is leading the rush up ice. Nemet has Bennett going down the left side, Lee down the right. Nemet's gonna elect to take it down and shoot. That's off an Evolve player. And goes back to the point for Dante. Dante, slapper, that's kicked away by an Evolve boot. Pittsburgh has two players in front of the net if they can get the puck there. And Nemet working below the end line there. But Evolve's gonna stop up and try to play it the other way. Past the outstretched stick of Lee. Kislak racing over to the half boards, tries to get a stick on it. Can't, goes past Dante. Does this have enough on it for icing? It does have enough on it for icing. So with two minutes and 20 seconds to go, Pittsburgh will have an offensive zone faceoff trying to get that equalizing goal. Uh, Pittsburgh's gonna go ahead and change units and go back to Gav and Maddox here. They didn't get a long uh, breather on that bench. Uh, Maddox is going to come in to take the draw. Gav on the right. Gav wasn't even set yet as the puck was dropped. Briner's trying to do work in front of the net, but it all comes the other way. Skating around Dante. Two on one coming here. Decker back. And oh, and sneaky shot there by the Evolve player. Tried to pick the left side of the net. Ended up hitting iron, but that two on one kind of looked to pass all the way, uh, but then pulled the trigger on that shot. We got a whistle blown here as I think the puck was just frozen in, on the boards there. It was, so we'll just get a face off in the Pittsburgh zone. Uh, Going to go ahead and change forward groups quickly again here as Briner and Nechai come off and Lee and Nemet come out. And here comes Nemet. Nemet leaves it over for Lee. Lee looking for that hat trick. Gabe down, uh, stripped off of his stick and into the corner it goes. 
And the puck goes up to the point for Noah. Noah has Dante on the D to D. Dante steps into it. That hits off of a Evolve boot. So Evolve doing a good job getting in that shooting lane and not letting the puck go through. And puck goes back for Decker. Decker onside play at the blue line. That one was close. Here comes Noah down the left side. He drags it to the front, finds Maddox. Maddox is able to get it in on net, but goaltender's up to the task. And Evolve's able to clear that puck. This might have enough on it for icing. Nope, icing is waved off. So icing is waved off there, and Evolve look to get it back into the Pittsburgh side of things. Michael's still in net. We gotta get Michael out of the net for the extra attacker here as soon as we can get some possession of the puck. Coach Mike is uh, in communication with Michael right now, and he's gonna send him. So Michael's gonna come off the ice. Pittsburgh's gonna pull their goaltender in favor for the extra attacker. That extra attacker is gonna be Gavin. But the puck squirts all the way back into the Pittsburgh side of the ice. Dante in a race for it. Dante gets there, gets stick on puck as Evolve looks to kill the last 45 seconds and nurse this lead. Puck goes forward for Lee, yeah, but Lee, Gabe can't get it out. Gabe plays it for uh, Gav. Gav coming with uh, Nemet. Nemet tries to get it in on that. That hits off an Evolve stick and goes wide. Down to 30 ticks to remaining in this game. Nemet doing work below the end line. Finds Maddox, pops up into the air. Maddox, slapper! Where's the puck? Oh! Someone's decked in front of the net. Nemitz put on his wallet, and an Evolve player is going to go to the box. Pittsburgh, with the goaltender out, is going to go to a six-on-four advantage in the offensive zone with 23.9 ticks on the clock. So Nemitz was doing his job uh, right on top of the crease there. And what are we doing here? Uh, I think we got a timeout on the Evolve side now. So Evolve's going to elect to take their timeout. We'll get another stoppage in play. Everybody will catch their breath. It's going to be hopefully an exciting last 24 seconds of this game. Again, we'll expect Pittsburgh to have an offensive zone draw here. We'll expect Michael to remain on the bench in favor of the extra attacker, and Pittsburgh will be on the power play. So we'll have six skaters for Pittsburgh, four for Evolve and 24 ticks on the clock to try to get that equalizer and send this thing to overtime. We'll see who Coach Mike sends out here for his six attackers. Looks like we're gonna have Gav, Gabe, Decker, Valentine, Dawson, and Nemec. Nemet to take the draw. Nemet has a go forward move out of this dot. He tries it. Nemet tried the go forward move that he pulled off successfully yesterday, and now Pittsburgh goes to work below the end line. Big scrum behind the net there. As uh, Ival is very happy to just eat some time off the clock there, we do have a frozen puck below the end line there. Referee blows it, and we'll drop it right in the same circle. Again, watch for Nemet to potentially win this face off forward. Uh, as again, on this right dot, he has a play where he can drag it right through the defense and try to score. He does try again, but thwarted again. And now we're down to just 10 seconds. Pittsburgh needs one more chance here. Maybe use the points here, boys. They try to get it in front, but that's sticked away back to the wall. Now it comes to the circles. Evolve's gonna skate into it, and that's gonna do it. Evolve's gonna play it out of the zone and uh, get a well-earned win here as they came back as Pittsburgh was up by a score of two to nothing. And Evolve came roaring back in the third with three unanswered goals and what was another very well played game here in Canada. So Pittsburgh Hockey Club boys don't have anything to be ashamed of there. Uh, even game against a good team. Well, we know, as we said at the beginning, that a lot of basically Roco players on this team and that's a good group. So uh, Pittsburgh will look to collect themselves and give a good effort in the bronze medal game here, which will be played at one o'clock versus uh, opponent to be named will either be the Canes or the uh, North Stars. So we'll check the other scores and we will see you at one o'clock. Good game, guys. Good game.